feel like your creativity gets lost in the day-to-day -day drama of living? Here's what I prescribe. Start with beautiful countryside. Add the patient guidance of a professional artist. I want to evaluate where you are with the composition. Allow plenty of time, say a couple of days, and you might end up with a masterpiece. We'll soften this down so that it actually blends in with okay. the rocks and things. Fraser Coast artist Kelly McGregor is our teacher on a two-day creative getaway called Art at Amamore. Amamore Lodge sits snugly in the picturesque Mary Valley inland from the Sunshine Coast. It overlooks 50 hectares of mountains and valley, offering traditional bed and breakfast in the homestead and self-contained studio apartments. We'll have time to relax in our rooms later. Right now, creative juices are flowing. Kelly guides us through the genesis of a canvas we'll complete over the next 48 hours. Vic, how's it going? Good, it's really fun. Oh, it's looking great, yeah. And there's a lovely story behind why we're doing this particular piece of work, isn't there? Yeah, this is a story uh, about the Bobble Mountain from up on the Fraser Coast. Um, and Gwen Miller actually wrote the story. She's an Indigenous woman and uh, these cockatoos are actually fanning a fire to send a smoke signal to the family to come save him and he's up on the mountain. And that's where the, story, where the Bobble Mountain got its name from. And the charcoal that I'm working with, that's pretty interesting too. <laughs> It's another thing, it's part of the organic, it's part of our natural world. It's actually from the campfire here and you'll see a bit more tonight, so we'll get some more for tomorrow. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Happily, the campfire provides more than charcoal for our art. While we've been at work, our host at Amamore Lodge, Malcolm Oakley, has been flexing his culinary creativity. Coconut chicken skewers for starters, and for main course, a rich country casserole. Hey! Day two of our arty escape begins with a morning that would inspire anyone. Malcolm and his wife Christine make sure breakfast is a hearty start. It's all part of the Art at Amamore experience. Everyone sort of takes from the environment here and from each other. And it's wonderful just having the classes here. It's a perfect environment for it. Now the hospitality, of course, is a huge part of it all as well. And it's lovely because people can focus on their art and you just sort of look after everything else. Look, we try to treat it as an indulgent um, break for people to get away from the busy city life, um, offering them good food, a little bit of mix of um, traditional country and more modern styles of food. Yeah, I think Malcolm's art is in his cooking. <laughs> After brekkie, it's straight back to the easel for our final session. We'll really build some strength into this now. With Kelly's help, our paintings take on depth, colour and an unusual finish. Now, Kel, my mum uses shellac on her furniture. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, traditionally it was used for French polishing in furniture. Yeah, it's just got that real glow, the shiny glow, it's just a gorgeous organic, that's my favourite word again, uh, feel to it, so and I think it suits this story. Amamore Lodge is in the Mary Valley, not far from Gympie. Check the website for details of their art at Amamore packages. Weekend and midweek workshops for 2015 kick off later this month, with prices starting from $260 per person, twin share. Almost done, a couple of days work, not bad for a novice and I really liked the learning and wondering what else I could possibly do. So the nice thing is I go home from Amamore Lodge not only with a piece of art but some lovely friendships and some memories as well. I've got to get it finished though.